this is B back again. Hopefully you can hear me. Um, we had some audio issues in the past, but hopefully that won't be for long. But we're back with Red-Handed Robin. So we're going to continue. Oh god, where did we last leave off? August 31st seems like the answer. Eighteen fifty, nineteen oh four. We're gonna start here, I think. Oh shoot! I don't forgot what the answer. Okay, where's our save? Okay, nineteen twelve. As for drinking, I got that covered. So we were going over the memory of him. He pulled a flask from his jacket and showed me. I faked a scandalous gasp. Shay, how terrible of you. If Sullivan knew. I take it you don't want any then? He made he made to stow the flask away. But Let, let's not be hasty. How about a deal? I think I know where this is going. You don't tell Sullivan where you found me, and I won't tell him you're drinking on the job. I held out my hand for the flask. How's that? He rolled his eyes and handed it over. I took a swig and passed it back. There, the deal is sealed. Now give me your hands. What? Why? You said you don't know how to dance, right? I'll show you. Right now? Do you have something better to do? I don't want to go back to the party, and you rudely interrupted my other plan. He shiftly, his, he stiffly held out his arm, and I guided them into position. Here, it starts like this. I walked him through the sum of the steps. He's more clumsy than I thought he'd be. I can't resist giving him a hard time. You're not very good at this. I told you. I thought he might quit, but surprisingly, he continued to try. Faint music and chatter echoed from the ballroom as the two of us danced in the darkened hallway. It felt a bit surreal, as though it was some strange dream. He didn't seem to mind as I let myself fall a little further into his arms. Shay? A daring mood came over me. Can I tell you a secret? Is it that you're a terrible dancer? Because I've already noticed. You're so rude. <laughs> that wasn't it? Go on then. I changed my mind. You'll probably just tattle on me to Sullivan. I won't. You can tell me. Promise? What are we, school children? Have it your way. I guess you don't want to know my secret after all. He gave an exasperated sigh. You're such a tease. Fine, I promise. Cross my heart and everything. Goosebumps went up my arms. This was something I had kept to myself for years. Why was I so desperate for him to know? I want to tell you my real name. Ooh, your real name? Am I interrupting something? Shay quickly let go of me and turned to the man who spoke. Nothing important. Robin insisted on showing me how to dance. Out here? Alone in the hallway? Dominic gave us both a knowing grin. I had seen him be around before, but never spoken to him directly. Something about him always seemed off. Now thoroughly on edge, Shay didn't immediately give an answer. I decided to try and smooth things over. My apologies, I had a little bit too much to drink, and the ballroom was quite overwhelming. Dominic smirked. Don't worry, little bird. I'm not with Sullivan. I have no obligation to report the things you two might be doing in the dark. My brother here, on the other hand. Brother? 
Is there something you need for me, Dom? Not at this exact moment, but I do need to speak with you later. Why don't you finish your lesson first? I'll be waiting. As quietly as he arrived, Dominic disappeared down the hallway. Damn it. Now I have to explain. All his playfulness was gone, replaced by the cold version of himself he showed to everyone else. He said he won't tell us all of them. Dominic had said they were brothers. Didn't Shay trust him? It's not Sullivan I'm worried about. This is my, this is your fault. Why can't you do as you're told? This angry, prickly Shay was more like how he was when we first met. That's not fair. You can't hide from me if I can't hide from you. And you're blameless, is that it? You seemed quite content with your arms around me. Excuse me for taking, trying to take a comfort in a friend. I'm not your friend, Robin. I'm your keeper. I don't know what it is you're trying to accomplish here, but one of these times you're going to get caught by someone other than me. If that happens, then what? Will I disappear like the rest of them? He frowned and looked away. So you knew. You knew, and you're still working for him. I don't have a choice. There was a strained emotion behind his voice that I hadn't heard before. Yes, you do. You could leave. Don't you think I tried? You could help me. We could do this together. Listen to me. He gripped me by my shoulders, forcing me to look him in, look into his eyes. If you keep this up, you're going to get hurt, and there won't be anything I can do about it. I can take care of myself. I flung his arms off of me and I stood my ground. Robin, it's Ro Rosalind. My name is Rosalind Gardner. You didn't have to tell me. I don't break promises to my friends. I'm going back to the party. Stay out here if you're so desperate to be alone. I stormed off, leaving Shay behind. When I came to, I found myself slouched over on the sofa in dimly lit cabin. I quickly realized it was my room, but it wasn't in the same state I left it. Drawers and cabinets stood open, and the things from our luggage had been thrown about hazard haphazardly. There was no doubt about it. Someone had been looking for the case. Ah, you're awake. Fletcher, who was standing next to the next near the door, approached me when he noticed I was conscious. What happened? Where are Jay and Wren? I don't know yet, but I have my men looking for them. Bitters was was only able to grab you when the chaos started. That's right. We have been together in the lounge when something happened. I can't remember it exactly. It was like some of the pieces were missing. All I knew was that I had felt a strange... That I had felt strange and then lost consciousness. Had we been drugged? What's going on? Did you do this? I understand your distrust considering the current situation. But no, I didn't destroy your room. In fact, the reason I left was to stop the thing that did. He motioned to a dark corner where I could just make out the silhouette as something hunched over on the ground. It didn't look human. Was it some kind of animal? Some of the other passengers have become aware of a delicate private matter. A matter that involves you and your so-called bodyguard, Miss Robin. And now, even when, even with my warning, some of the others decided to try to capitalize on my absence. For that, I apologize. Our kind tend to be prone to our vices. For many of our group, that vice is greed. You're quite lucky I had the foresight to send bitters back. What are you talking about? What do you mean? I see you haven't figured it out yet. Allow me to explain. Some of the passengers are different from the others. This train was made to serve a very special, very secret 
clientele. I had thought perhaps you were one of us. I'm glad to see that that's not the case. This is a terrible curse to bear. It also means that you have no use for the item you stole from Bertram Sullivan. I played dumb. Bertram Sullivan? The man whose murder the detective is investigating? I've never even met him. I think you have me, me mistaken for someone else. He chuckled. You can deny it all you want, but I will find out. None of this is on you, Robin. It's your bodyguard who's guilty, right? I suspect he hasn't been entirely truthful with you, so let me fill you in. He and his family work for people like us. They are well known in our circles. I've heard rumors that his current contract involves Sullivan's death and the safe transport of the goods you stole to Gales. It also involves turning one of the Sullivan's other possessions over to contact, to the contract holder. You, my dear, that's not... But I hesitated. Not true? Come now, are you that naive? Why do you think he's so concerned with your safety? Did he perhaps tell you that the two of you would have lived happily ever after together in Gales? No, he hadn't. In fact, he had said many times that we would part once we reached our destination. But Jay had only killed Sullivan to protect me, right? Or was that just the convenient excuse? Do you know what the penalty for failing a contract is, Robin? Death, I assume. Quite right. So you can see why he would go so far for you, even risking his own life for yours. He has no alternative. He's put you in grave danger to protect himself. But I can help you. At a price, right? You're a clever one. Among the things you took was a silver box. I just want it back. I thought I remembered something like that he described, but... If you have any idea where it is, please tell me. Did Fletcher think I was stupid? I won't be manipulated so easily. Jay wasn't aware of whatever was going on here. I was sure of it. He didn't even want to bring the case of jewels with us. Yet Fletcher expected me to believe that that was his entire goal. Not to mention, he would never agree to trade me over like I was some object. There's no way I misread his feelings. I trust him with my life. I don't believe a word you've said. And as for your silver box, I've never seen anything like it. You should check your facts. I'm not the person you're looking for. So you want to be difficult? Fine. He reached into his pocket and drew out something silver. It was small and thin, with an engraved modify of a bird of some sort. A pocket watch? You're going to regret this, Robin. Part 3. We're getting really far in this game. His mistress? You want me to spy on his mistress? Dominic rolled his eyes. Think of it as a protect as protecting her then. Whatever makes you feel better. Just keep her on a short leash and report what she does back to Sullivan. Shay was incredious. Was this was that all his mother thought he was good for? So I'm to be a babysitter then. What were all the teenage girls in the capital busy? Dominic sighed impatiently. After that stunt you pulled last year, you should be thanking your lucky stars that our mother has found any use for you at all. She had half a mind to disown you, you know. But I talked her out of that. Seemed to me that was what you were after in the first place. Shay reflectively rubbed reflectively rubbed his wrist. It's a moment of weakness. It won't happen again. Dominic shrugged his shoulders. Doesn't matter to me as long as you finish the job next time. 
I'm tired of cleaning up your half-assed messes. You want to know the reason I caught on? It was hearing you got rid of that damned cat of yours. What, didn't it trust me to take care of your little princess when you were gone? Heh, <laughs> I take that as a no. Anyway, Sullivan is paying good money for you. Just do whatever he says. Shay knew he should keep his thoughts to himself, but his temper was fraying. He mumbled angrily. Do you take me for a prostitute? At once, Dominic had him by the collar. He slammed Shay into the hallway wall, rattling his glasses askew. Sullivan is a very important client. He can make you clean up his dog shit for all I care. A prostitute? That baby brother is exactly what I take you for. And if Sullivan decides that whore doesn't satisfy him, well, I expect you to jump into the old man's bed yourself. Ooh. Everything that you are, you are is due to your, our mother's generosity, Shay. She owns you. The least you can offer is your obedience. Do I make myself clear? Good. Aw, Shay. Dominic let him go and gave him what he supposed was meant to be an encouraging slap on the back. Now do me a favor and keep that delightful sense of humor to your humor to yourself. We want you to insult the old pervert. Dominic straightened his back, his jacket, then paused briefly. He turned back to Shay and stared directly in the eyes. I probably shouldn't be telling you this. It's more help than you deserve, but this is a test, Shay. If you prove to mother that she can trust you. You'll be welcomed back with open arms. And then you'll see what our family is really capable of. Shay didn't quite know what that meant. And he knew he couldn't ask either. Dominic turned swiftly on his heel and started down the hallway. Shay took a moment to pull himself together before following. As he did so, he wondered what sort of woman would willingly associate with Sullivan. Shay decided he already hated her. At a quaint cafe in the Capitals Market District, Shay sat outside, staring at the entrance. His legs bounced, his leg bounced impatiently as he tried to ignore the concerned look and whispers of other patrons. He's been there for a while now. Should we tell someone? Do you think he's some kind of creep? He looks scary. I swear to God, Robin, if I had to spend my morning chasing you all over town again, but she did return to the dining area eventually. When she saw him sitting at the table, she was all pleasantries. Afternoon, Shay. What brings you here? He wasn't in the mood for her games. Decided against jumping out the window, did you? What are, whatever are you talking about? I was simply making sure I was presentable. It's rather rude to comment on a woman's bathroom habits, you know. It's also rude to slip your escort and disappear down this busy street, but here we are. I hardly think I can I, I hardly think I need an escort to go shopping and drink coffee. Besides, it's not my fault you can't keep up. She grinned at him devish, devilishly as she took a sip of her drink. She knew exactly what she was doing when he first lost sight of her, and she knew exactly what she was doing now. She was a shameless flirt, and if Shay was honest with himself, he couldn't say he disliked it. But he also didn't delude himself for, into thinking she was serious. After all, Robin belonged to someone else. He avoided his gaze and instead nodded to a second cup on the table. Who were you meeting with? That? I ordered it for you, silly. I was sure you'd catch up eventually. You're always so diligent. I thought you deserved a reward. A better reward would be for you to stop tormenting me. I've been told you don't run off or disappear on any of the others. That's your own fault. The others aren't as fun as you. This cup is half empty. I know you didn't order it for me. Who were you meeting with? See what I mean? That's what makes you fun. The others are dumb as rocks. You're more clever than that. You're not going to tell me, are you? That's right. Are you going to tattle on me? 
Shay didn't know if she was unaware of what Sullivan was capable of or just didn't care. Either way, it made him extremely anxious. I haven't decided yet. This was the real reason she liked him. She knew he w was weak. How did you find me, anyway? I'm sure I lost you an hour ago. There are a lot of coffee shops in the capital, but you come to this one when you're upset. She looked a little annoyed, which brightened his mood. And how did you know I was upset? No more hints. If you get any better at deceiving me, I might not be able to find you next time. She pouted and continued to sip her coffee. Shay couldn't understand her. What in the world, world was she doing with Sullivan? Did she need his money that badly? Surely there was there were plenty of other rich men who would treat her with care she deserved. Why, ha why had she chosen such a dangerous one? What are you staring at? Finally realized you're madly in love with me? He felt a pang in his chest. She finds it amusing to toy with me. I can't even say I like you very much, let alone love you. She laughed, making his heart ache all the more. So, Shay, tell me something about yourself. If you make it interesting enough, I'll give you something in return. He had to admit he was intrigued by that. She looked at him expectantly over her coffee cup. What did she want him to say? The only thing that came to mind was things he was ashamed to tell her. You just... You just come to hate me. Need some help? Then how about... Where is your favorite place in the world? The place you would go to if you were upset. Oops. Now that he thought about, he did have such a place. I ran away once, a long time ago, when I was a kid. Her brow furrowed and she set her cup down on its dish. There was this corner store I liked. The woman who owned the place was very kind. It's not like I had anywhere else to go, so I found myself there quite often. Eventually, she asked if I wanted to help out around the shop. She gave me a job and let me sleep in the room in the back. For quite a while, that's where I lived. It was the most at home I ever felt. I suppose that's my answer. Shay put his head in his hand and groaned. That sounds really pathetic when I say it out loud. Why am I telling her this? If Dominic found out, I'm such an idiot. It doesn't sound pathetic to me at all. He glanced between his fingers and Robin smiled warmly at him. Please don't look at me like that. Have you ever gone back? I'm sure she'd like to see you again. No. The shop burned down. She died. Robin looked at him sadly. How horrible. I'm so sorry, Shay. To lose someone you cared for? It hurts quite a lot, I know. She had a melancholy look on her face that told him she was speaking from experience. The two of them sat in silence for a while, but it was far more uncomfortable far from uncomfortable. Alright, I suppose we should be getting back now. Wouldn't want our master to worry about us, right? She stood and walked around the table. Before she, he could stand as well, she leaned down to him. Her hair tumbled in front of her eyes as she spoke in a soft, playful voice. I suppose you'd like your gift now. What is it? A gold star? She bent, and then, to Shay's immense surprise, she gave him a delicate kiss on the cheek. What was that for? She sighed. Are all men so oblivious, or am I just unlucky? She headed off, leaving him sitting there dazed and confused. Why would she do that? Isn't she with... He gently touched the spot where her lips had been. I'm getting too attached to her. Nothing good had ever come of that. He stood from the table and, as ever, followed her in her wake. I feel like his cat was a person. Listen to me.
In a darkened out hallway, Shay grabbed Robin's shoulders more forcefully than he meant to. If you keep this up, you're going to get hurt, and there won't be anything I can do about it. Why are we back here? Why won't you understand? I can take care of myself. She, she flung his hands off and stared him down. Robin, it's Rosalind. My name is Rosalind Gardner. Why did that sound familiar? You didn't have to tell me. I don't break promises to my friends. Oh, I didn't mean to save. Yes. Stop! I'm going back to the party. Stay out here if you're so desperate to be alone. She angrily stormed away, and he could feel his own temper flaring as well. If you want to act like a spoiled brat, then fine. We'll see how long you last on your own. I'm done with this. He needed to meet Dom he needed to meet with Dominic anyway. I'll tell him I'm through. If I have to speak to Mother myself, then so be it. Dominic hadn't said where he would be, but Shay knew that didn't matter. He would find Shay when he felt like it, and as had always been the case, it was only a matter of time. He left the Sullivan's estate and wandered aimlessly around town. Shay walked half the evening away and eventually ended up at the Café Robin Light. Why did I come here, of all places? I'm such an idiot. He ordered a coffee and sat at a table in the corner. He was getting tired, but every time he closed his eyes, he saw her face. Roslyn. The real name is Roslyn. It suddenly occurred to him what the cafe was called. The Rose Garden. He stifled a laugh. I bet you think you're quite clever for that one. He thought about how he might tease her for it later, until he remembered he, his resolve. She doesn't really care about me. I'm just a convenient. It's better to leave now before one of us does something stupid. You look positively despondent, Shay. Lovers quarrel. Dominic approached Shay's table wearing a mocking grin. Step on your little dance partner's toes one too many times. We're not lovers. I should certainly hope not. If you were, you would have failed this assignment rather spectacularly. What is it you want? There are other things I need to discuss. Such as... Send me somewhere else. It's been nearly a year and nothing has happened with this girl. I'm getting restless. Really? Nothing of note? Nothing at all? No. I see. Well, I suppose this will come as good news then. You won't be needed much longer. In fact, after tonight, your contract will be up. Oh, good. I can leave. That's what I want, right? You just have to do a bit more work, and all this will be behind you. What kind of work? Dominic's grin widened. He wants you to kill the girl for him. Oh. He did his best to keep calm. What are you talking about? Why? She hasn't done anything. I'd hardly call stealing his money and casing his home for valuables nothing, Shay. I wondered how how it uh, I wonder how it is that you miss such devious behavior. Shay's heart dropped. Had they known all along? But that's hardly the point. This was always how it was going to end. It's why he was looking for these girls in the first place. It's all some kind of deranged experiment. The man fancies himself an occult scientist, apparently. Dominic laughed. Experiment? You know, how these psychopaths are. They always need some kind of justification. He can't just admit he's grown bored of her. Why didn't you tell me before? But Shay already knew the answer. This was the test. His mother had devised the perfect trial of his, royal his loyalty. Because you didn't need to know. Sullivan's the client. You'll do as he says, or you'll face the consequences. Right? Oh. 
Right. Oh no, that's why he wants to go separate ways. There's a good lad. He checked the time on the pocket watch. You should probably head back soon. Sullivan will be waiting for you. Dominic stood to take his leave. Let me give you some advice, Shay. Pretty women are a dime a dozen. Don't throw your life away just because this one paid you a modicum of attention. There will be others, one who don't already belong to someone else. And with that, he left. Shay sat, stunned at what had just happened. She knew. Somehow his mother knew that Shay would grow close to Robin, that he would be ordered to hurt her, and that he would be ordered to hurt her, and he would have to choose. Well, we gotta save here. Unfortunately, we are out of time. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is getting interesting. I'm curious about Ran and Jay, well, Shay. Oh my god, it just hurts my heart. I love him so much. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!